My name is London Kowalik, and I will be performing The Walrus and the Carpenter today from Alice vs. Wonderland. I'll be playing the Dormouse. Okay. The walrus and the carpenter were walking close at hand. They wept like anything to see such quantities of sand. If this were only cleared away, they said it would be grand. The walrus and the carpenter were walking close at hand. Oh, oysters, come walk with us, the walrus did beseech. A pleasant walk, a pleasant talk along the briny beach. We cannot do with more than four to give a hand to each. A pleasant walk, a pleasant talk along the briny beach. The walrus and the carpenter. 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 Go ahead. <laughs> the the Good job. <laughs> the eldest oyster looked at him, but never a word he said. The eldest oyster winked his eye and shook his heavy head, meaning to say he did not choose to leave his oyster bed. The eldest oyster winked his eye and shook his heavy head. But four young oysters hurried up a leaguer for the treat. Their coats were brushed, their faces washed, their shoes were clean and neat. And this was odd because you know they hadn't any feet. And this was odd because you know they hadn't any feet. The walrus and the carpenter. 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 Walrus and the carpenter. I wait for you, the walrus said. I deeply sympathize. When sobs and tears he sorted out those of the largest size, holding his pocket handkerchief before his streaming eyes. With sobs and tears he sorted out those of the largest size. Oh, oyster, said the carpenter, you've had a pleasant run. Shall we be trotting home again? But the answer came of none. And this was scarcely odd because they eaten every one. And this was scarcely odd because they eaten every one. Off with their head. What? <laughs> and scene. Thank you. <laughs>